kind of like the boring parts of owning a boat or when you can't use it, but you have to clean it. Welcome back guys. I'm here to talk about our least favorite thing about owning a boat, cleaning it and fixing it. Well, this is disgusting. It's just a bunch of like nasty hair and just gunk. Something exploded in there. So let's see how it does. I've heard quite a bit about boat ownership before buying Huzzah and how most people spent 80% of their time working on their boat and the other 20% enjoying it. Needless to say, we were determined not to be those people. And yet, here we are. Fixing some windows and giving her a deep clean instead of sailing. This video is sponsored by the subscribe button. The best way to support our channel is to send us some love by subscribing and liking the video. If you want to see our day-to-day, -day, head over to Instagram at sailing underscore huzzah. However, today's chores were quite honestly thrust upon us because the wind this week was nuts and we've become quite the fair weather sailors as of late. It is one of the windiest days of the year so we've been doing just like really boring boat projects. Mine aren't very hard, they're like cleaning and chores I haven't been doing like cleaning the uh, fridge and the head vacuuming, sweeping up crumbs from the child who eats and spills everything everywhere. Do you like Peppa? Yeah. You're not too old for Peppa? I wonder if it's too windy for a dinghy ride, just for me. I love my new dinghy. I really do, I love when everything works. Will it hold? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't have anything to hold on to, so hopefully this, uh... Woo! <laughs> it works. $300 investment. Woo! Okay. Oh shit. Are you just gonna drag it on? You mean to hold on to it? I'm just gonna drag it. You're gonna have to get off so I can turn it. Secondary hole. The head was in such poor shape it really needed some love. With a six year old on board, things can start looking like a men's urinal in a bar. Let's go ahead and add cleaning the head to our list of least favorite parts of boat ownership. Well, this is disgusting. It's just a bunch of like nasty hair and just gunk. I mean, we don't clean this as often as we should. Carlos puts all of these little things up on the window and I can never see. I like it bright. But. Oh my God, it's so windy. Like 30 knots windy. It's kind of like the boring parts of owning a boat or when you can't use it, but you have to clean it. So I dug deep in our lockbox to find the perfect solution. Better Boat Soap Concentrate. It quickly cuts through stubborn grime and rinses residue free. With up to 40 washes per bottle, I had plenty left. And I felt comfortable knowing that the Boat Soap Concentrate is 100% biodegradable, earth-friendly, and won't harm marine life. Water pumps on. There we go. I could have probably filled this from the hose. How about that? Maybe a little more. Back to the mess. I got suds. 
Ha! Yeah. After all of that scrubbing, I felt like it was time to break for lunch. And after a long lunch at our marina grill, Carter and I came back to the boat where I basically stood by while Carlos installed our new windows. So this is all really good to clean, you know, and get all really just squeaky clean because look. This happened five minutes later. Are you finally putting in the window that you broke? Yep. Okay. Here is the window from Admiral Glass in Kima, Texas. Wait, Carlos, did you do the beveling? Yeah. Carlos? What? What did you do the beveling with? Oh, no, they did it for me. Okay. I thought you said that they couldn't do it for you. Well, they said they couldn't, and then I showed up, and it was done. So. Oh. Wow. Do you know who the person you talked to was? I got her card somewhere. So a woman you talked to at Admiral Glass. That should help all the Catalina owners out there that have been asking me about this. I guess they've been asking Carlos, not really me. How did you know how much to bevel it? Yeah, you just copied the old one. Oh, you, you just like gave them a piece of the old one and it got copied or like the whole yep. shattered bits? I they taped it up and traced it. What if it doesn't fit? This goes without saying that fixing all the crap that breaks is definitely the absolute least favorite part of owning a boat. I think Carlos would agree with me here. That's it. Keep the push on it? I, it's pushed. Looks like not pushed at the end over there. Is it slipping? Oh, you pushed that more than I did. Push it all the way? Till it like squeegees out? I'm gonna need another rag. rag. And then some of that alcohol. It's like everywhere. Oh, okay, okay. There's one front line. Like rubbing alcohol? Yeah, yeah. Must be hatch fixing day. Yeah, yeah, we're good, man. For all the neighbors. It was leaking. You know well, why the window's I mean, leaking? <laughs> it was not sealing really well. But when we pulled off this old this older one on there, it was it was uh it was sealed here with this and we ripped this off. Ooh, 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 do you need that? Yeah. Okay. We ripped this off and then it broke the seal down here so that's why it was leaking afterwards. It's very windy and we're fixing a window. It's like obnoxiously windy. Like hurricane windy. My camera's flying out of my hands. Wind generators are going crazy right now. Okay, what do you need my help with? Lowering the window in? Uh, moral support. You get one shot at really one shot at this. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. The opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Can you give me a water. You really need a water right now? I think I got the car's cold, but it's road slang. Dry. I do. I'll hold your camera like that. Okay, do not let it blow over, uh -huh. Carlos. I won't. I wanted to go on a dinghy ride. Once we set this, we can go on a dinghy ride. I did my boat tours today. Ooh. It's like decorating a cake.
like uh, one of the Fallout boys. And at some point, a can of something carbonated had burst deep in our fridge and had been waiting for me to clean it for quite some time. Okay, I have one. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> really, one thing I don't want to do is clean the inside of this fridge. Something exploded and it stinks. Get you a water, buddy? I would definitely add this to my list of least favorite parts of owning a boat, as I've avidly avoided this task for weeks. I figured we should put boat soap to the test in our fridge as well. I think again, I'm gonna go in with my better boat soap. This thing, hopefully it works in fridges too. It is very gross in there. For the record, we don't keep a lot of things in our fridge because we come on the weekends and some days during the week to stay the night, go out, sail, whatever. Um, but our fridge does get very messy and very hard to organize. And I don't think that with the next boat, I would probably have one of those deep freezers. I know they're like more efficient, but that was just pain in the ass to clean. Wait, 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 It can't drain? Oh, and apparently, um, Carlos keeps the bilge dry because a hose drips into a bucket in the bilge from the freezer. So there's no mold, and apparently I just messed that up, so. Doing a little bit of light organizing. Too much water. Put you back on here. Luckily, this lava doesn't hurt me. Before you get your skeleton. Uh, hello. Don't mean any. Tr I'm just gonna run away now. Okay. Yeah. Later in the day, I found some more fungus, which honestly was pretty yucky. Good morning from our kitchen. We're at the house and uh, I'm getting Carter ready for school. I was up all night last night editing a video and uploading footage from the weekend. My least favorite part of this whole deciding to document things, saving memories, is that my external hard drive crashed um, and I am in complete and utter fear that I've lost every single video and document, vacation, picture since January 1, 2021. If anybody knows how to repair external hard drives or has any information, let me know. Because I'm going to add this to number three of the least favorite things. Can you help me? What do you need help with? Uh, me out here. Get help in the door. Phone on the trigger. I'm a baby, I'm a baby. I'm gonna go take a picture of the window that Carlos <laughs> broke. Uh, he broke the window. I wanna go live in Vietnam. Same. Go live cheap. I do wanna visit Thailand. We should start looking up Thailand. 